Good luck, everybody. And the first award of the night is Startup Inspiration. Yeah, down to business. So this category is books that, in the judges' opinion, will inspire and inform new and budding entrepreneurs about getting their business idea up and running or on to the next stage. And to present this award, please welcome to the stage the Deputy Chief Executive of the Publishers Association. Please give it up for Emma House. The Publishers Association represents the interests of UK publishers across consumer, education and academic publishing. Their objective as an association is to provide our members with the influence, insight and services necessary to compete and prosper. Beautiful. Now this mission even is to strengthen, I just put my teeth in, the trading environment for UK publishers by providing a strong voice for the industry and in government, in society and with other stakeholders in the UK, Europe and internationally. Is that all true? That's all true. Indeed. <laughs> So now, let's, let's see, see which books were shortlisted. shortlisted. The Startup Inspiration Category finalists are It Takes a Try by Will Dean yeah, Recipe for Success by Karen Green She Means Business by Carrie Green Tested by Alpash H. Patel Thrive, Don't Just Survive by Karen Ingram. Now, you've got the all-important envelope, haven't you? And I know who's in it. Oh, fantastic. No, shh. You've got to pretend that you don't. Okay. Now, just to let you know, if your name is announced, you're going to have your photograph taken with your good self. So put on your award-winning smile. And when you come <laughs> to the stage, everybody is going to cheer and clap like mad. So, Emma... Please, yeah. can you tell us who the winner is? It was a difficult choice. It, this one didn't take us 30 seconds. Um, but the winner was It Takes a Tribe by Will Dick. Well done, well, that's a great achievement. Don't run away just yet. Yes, we haven't finished with you yet. The judges felt this was a fantastic book. Will, come here so I can talk to you and you can see the audience with great content and very well written, so well done you. Uh, the examples and the learnings on the author's journey were well thought through and overall hugely inspiring. So it must be music to your ears. Yeah, Will, would you say a few words about your book, please? Well, well, first of all, thank you, everyone. Um, it really is an honour and genuinely completely unexpected. Some wonderful books in the category. You know, it, um, there's so much written these days about what an entrepreneur is. And, um, you know, I feel like a bit of an imposter at the Business Book Awards because I'm not even really sure that entrepreneurs are business people. Um, you know, I think most people who start companies do so because they have a passion to do something. You know, it can be quite lonely uh, starting a company because it can be very tough along the way. And... Um, I know, the book is called It Takes a Tribe. It's about building Tough Mudder, an event that's all about teamwork and camaraderie. And I don't pretend that we're curing cancer, but certainly for me, the reason I started the company is because I do think in our own little way, we're making the world a better place. And I'm always proud of all the people that write to me and say, well, I was getting bullied at work and I did a Tough Mudder and I went into work on a Monday morning with my orange Tough Mudder headband. And I went up to my boss and I said, yeah, you don't get to speak to me like that anymore. I'm a Tough Mudder. <laughs> And I'm very proud of that, and you know, it isn't really just about me, it's about all the millions of people all around the world that have done the event, all the wonderful people at Tough Mudder headquarters that have made this possible. Of course, I want to thank the uh, team at Penguin, and I couldn't have done it without them, they were really amazing to work with. I want to thank my uh, co-writer, Tim Adams, who was just a great person to work with, and failingly patient, pushed me um, throughout the process, and my wife, who's 
here this evening, I could have done any of it without her, and she's the unsung hero behind all of this, because when I come home and complain to her about the people that irritate me through the day, and she's unfailingly patient. So, again, thank you very much um, to every single one of you, and this is a wonderful event, and I'm sure we'll have great success in the uh, future. So, thank you again. Lovely. Um, so what does the award mean to you to win tonight? Well, what does the award uh, mean to me? I mean, it really is an incredible uh, honour. It was completely unexpected, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Some of the other books up there were great. And you know, I remember when I first started thinking about writing the book, everybody said, you know, well, writing a book is a hard thing. And if I'm perfectly honest, I said, come on, I've started a company. How difficult can it be? But the answer is really, really tricky. Um, you know, you have to soul search. You have to confront difficult things. You have to try and write about this last... 10 years of your life in a way that makes sense to people you've never met and you're putting yourself out there so to be recognized in this way is really a wonderful achievement and very very humbling and may I add as well you know it isn't just about me as although I am the CEO of the company it really is about all the wonderful people that work at Top Matter and the wonderful people that uh, have come and done our events.